Oil and filter change on a 2014 Can-Am Commander. This is what you'll need to do the job. Okay, you want to take a 17 millimeter ratchet with the extension, and the plug is located towards the passenger side. While your oil is draining, go ahead and remove your passenger seat. Next, you'll want to remove this panel here. It's held in by these clips. I usually take a, a straight screwdriver to pull those loose. Okay, now that the clips are out, we're just going to remove this panel. With that panel out, now we're going to have to remove this one. It's held in by a couple of those clips here on the back side. And these two clips here. And with all the clips removed, let's pull this out. And the oil filter cover is right here. On, so this is the passenger side of the motor. And your oil filter cover bolts are eight millimeter. I'm gonna stuff some rags down in here to try to catch a little bit of the mess. Okay, I've got you at a different angle there. Hopefully you can see a little better. And with the bolts off, I'm just gonna pull it straight out. Okay, this is the one we just took out. Take note of the way this comes out. So you can see both sides are not the same. So to remove this, we'll just pull it loose. Okay, I'm just gonna slide our new filter in. Of course, the, the rubber garment side goes inside the motor. Back with our cover. Put the cover back on, I'm just gonna snug the bolts. This is a cast aluminum case, so don't over tighten these. With this snug now, I'm going to leave this cover off and go ahead and put the drain plug back in. Okay, with everything tightened back up and uh, wiped off, you see engine oil capacity is 2.1 quart. And I'm going to go back with the Rotella T6 540 and of course add some uh, Lucas oil stabilizer to that. Okay, I'm going to let the oil settle down, then I'm going to check the dipstick, start it up, then recheck and uh, check for any leaks. That's why we've left the covers off to this point. And now I've got the correct oil level. I like to spray a little degreaser on the skid plate area, let it set a couple minutes, wash it off, then we'll button everything back up. 